Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Another scorcher out there today. 97 degrees officially at Intercontinental. That ties our hottest day of the year so far. 95 at Hobby. And how about that? 90 yesterday in Galveston. Only four away from the record set back in 1875. That'll just give you an indication. Kind of sizzle that we've got on there right now. And in fact, out to the beach uh, the rest of the day today and in towards tomorrow, we're going to go about 90 degrees, water temperature at 88. And again, the wind's still about 10, 20 miles an hour. A bit of a moderate chop as you get out on the rip current there. Big dome of high pressure continues to sit just east of us, and that's pumping in the moisture, keeping our heat indices well above 100 degrees. That's the feels like temperature. That'll stay that way through most of this week. Here's our low to the north thing. See, we see a slight chance for some showers well north of us up near Dallas, and as that Continues to move eastward. There's a slight chance we could get a few of those to try to clip some of the northeastern counties. And we'll zoom in in a bit here and I'll show you that. But still, the heat and the humidity are going to meet for a very, very hot. In fact, could be looking at heat advisories being issued by the National Weather Service sometime later on this week. We've got heat advisories around us from Dallas over towards San Antonio and Austin, but still no rainfall, substantial rainfall anyway, headed in our direction as this high is pretty much just sitting in place here in the Gulf, and that's going to keep everything bouncing north of us over the next four to five days. Let's jump in a little tighter and show you what we got there as we start off tomorrow morning. Again, this may just be a little bit of extra cloud cover along the coast. I don't think we'll see any showers with that. But watch just behind the banner as the tail end of that front tries to slide through. Could trigger off a scattered shower or two, maybe towards Liberty County, up to San Jacinto, Polk County possibly. But the majority of the region will just stay hot and dry. And as we get in towards 8, 9 o'clock, Getting ready for the fireworks tomorrow evening should be just fine as well. No problems there. Same thing on your Tuesday. Not much change in the forecast. In fact, as we take it hour by hour going in towards your 4th of July, start off at about 84 degrees in the morning, 91 by noon. And at 9 o'clock, mostly clear skies around 85 degrees. 10 day forecast shows the sizzle continuing. 97 tomorrow feels like about 105 to 110. Could get up to 98 on Tuesday, and then we're going to stay at around 96 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Introduce a slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. Otherwise, we'll have to look out towards next week to see our only substantial chance to get a little bit of a cooling shower. So be careful out in the heat. It'll continue through most of this week. That's your forecast at clickthehouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated for all your 4th of July needs tomorrow weather-wise, and you can get the latest on that and all your weather needs right here at clicktohouston.com.